YouTubers, it's Jonathan here with another video, and I know it's been forever, but I will do more frequent videos. Thank you to all that has subscribed and the likes. I appreciate all the love. I hope you enjoyed this content. If this is your first time with me, please support my channel by hitting that like, smashing that subscribe, and hit the alert bell so you know when I drop a new video. In my first video, I discuss a high-level overview of a home or small business network. If you haven't seen that and you are interested, I'll have a link below or you can find it in my only other video on my channel at the moment. But I do promise to do more frequent videos and what you're seeing on screen is just a snapshot of that last video. But in this video, we discuss the inner workings of how your devices negotiate to get on the internet and how your devices connect online, whether it being an Amazon Echo, laptop, or an Apple iPhone. All connected devices require DHCP and DNS. I will get into those acronyms shortly. In a home or small office, this usually happens at your router. Furthermore, this information is great to know if you're having trouble connecting. Um, you can troubleshoot issues with this basic knowledge. Now, D DHCP and DNS go hand in hand. This video will cover the inner workings of DHCP, and I will do another video on DNS. So let's get started. DHCP stands for Dynamic Host and Configuration Protocol. Keep in mind that this is a general overview of DHCP and your situation of troubleshooting may not fit directly into this explanation, but you should be able to troubleshoot DHCP issues with this understanding. Why is DHCP important? To send and receive data over the internet, you need an IP address, internet protocol address. DHCP servers issue an IP address to a client on the network. A client on the network can be a laptop, mobile device, computer, iPad, tablet, you name it, etc. Right? So when a user tries to Google something, the info that is requested is delivered to that IP address. Just like Amazon or UPS delivering packages to your home address, DHCP is, is also kind of like a post office box, a PO box. They give you an online address like a PO box and that will be the location, quote unquote location, they deliver your packages. In the digital world, that IP address is your unique connection to your local network, identifying your location for origin and delivery. From here, like in this example, Google then delivers your requested data, your client device internet browser, for some it's like Chrome, Firefox, Safari, downloads the data and presents it to you on your screen. Without a DHCP server issuing an IP address to the client device, the foundation of the system is never built. Elements assuming this connection will also not work and users can't connect to the internet. Hence, users getting frustrated, um, them saying they can't connect, or even saying the Wi-Fi sucks in wireless conversations. It's usually not the Wi-Fi in those conversations. It's other issues causing the failure to connect. Without successful DHCP, data cannot transfer, just like if the post office or other logistics companies will not deliver to incorrect addresses or invalid addresses. Example, once you turn on your computer and log in, the computer is usually programmed to try to connect to the internet so it's ready for you to go online. That is what the majority of devices are mainly used for today. The computer broadcasts a request to discover a DHCP server on the network called DHCP Discover. All devices on the network receive the broadcast. Only the DHCP server will respond and offer an IP address. In a small office or home, 
This is usually the router. The devices that are on the network that are not DHCP servers will drop the discovery message and not respond since they are not authorized to offer that service. Your computer then hears the response from the DHCP server that offers your computer an IP address called the DHCP offer. Then your computer responds back with a confirmation to formally request the IP address called the DHCP request or AKA lease request. The DHCP server acknowledges the formal request and that is called the DHCP ACK or also known as the DHCP lease acknowledgement and offers further instructions on how to get online with a gateway, subnet mask, and DNS server info. I will explain those in a different video. Also, the DHCP server sends that device a reminder that the IP address issued is only leased to the device and we want that address back when you are done so other devices can use it when you are not. The IP addresses that are available are limited so that is why there is a lease time. Kind of like rooms in a hotel or apartment building. IP addresses need to be released and then reused. Like in a hotel, you check in, check out, apartment building, you lease and then you leave. And then someone else moves in. The DHCP server keeps a record of the IP addresses and lease agreements. That lease time is significant since once the time expires, the client needs to renew or the IP address goes back into the IP address pool. Just like renting an apartment or hotel room, you have that address for a set time and you must renew that lease agreement once the time expires or you are out of that IP address and must request a new one. So in summary, what we have covered is known as the DHCP handshake. A very important part of getting your device online and usually connects all in the background. But if it doesn't, then now you have a deeper understanding of what DHCP is and how it works. What we've covered today is DHCP dynamic host and configuration protocol. It's important because it's needed to direct your data traffic. How does it work? It's a four step handshake that starts with discovery, then that DHCP offer, the request, also known as a lease request, and then the acknowledgement, or also known as the lease acknowledgement. I have a fun activity that you can do today. On a Mac, open terminal, or on PC, open your command prompt and do this quick check to check on your DHCP info. Pause the video and you can type this all in. But that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that like and turn it blue. Hit subscribe and that alert for notifications on my next video.